This is Kevin Coughlin from the Star Ledger. Here at Rutgers today with me is engineer Jerome Pearson, who's worked on many space projects. He's now with Star Inc. Uh, tell me, what is the, the fundamental problem in space travel today? Well, the basic problem we have is the high cost of getting into orbit. It costs about $10,000 a pound to put something from the Earth's surface into low Earth orbit, or LEO as we call it. <clears throat> that limits everything we can do in space. It limits space tourism. It limits private uh, uh, operations in space. It limits what we can do on the Moon and Mars program. We have to solve that fundamental problem. And we've made several attempts, but so far we have not quite done that. That's why some people are looking at farther out things like space elevators, uh, mass drivers, uh, gas guns, and things like that. Uh, and some are looking at the old-fashioned way, uh, big rockets. Uh, but one way or the other, we have to solve that fundamental problem of, of getting into space at a cheaper cost. We've been going into space for 50 years now. How come we haven't solved this one yet? That is a good question. NASA and the Air Force and DOD have made, I think, half a dozen attempts to come up with a low-cost system, starting with the space shuttle and going on from there. I worked on a couple of these, uh, the NASP, National Aerospace Plane. There was the X-33. Uh, we've also had the Shuttle C, the Advanced Launch System. And each one has uh, taken several billion dollars, and each one has been abandoned, and we have nothing to show for it except for the show.